for Gypsies. It's early June and we're at Ultra Pro, the home of Seven Gypsies. We're in the warehouse, about to go into a very noisy warehouse and check out the booth. We're just getting it started, getting it set up and ready to go to CHA summer. And we thought it'd be fun for you guys to get a little sneak peek of what that means and how much work it takes for us to get there. So come with me and try and ignore some of the warehouse noises. Find the booth. Come with me. We're gonna we set up the booth in the middle of the warehouse because it's the only place that we have enough space to really get it all up so we can see what we need to do to fill it up. So you'll notice here that we're unpacking all of these big crates here. The booth actually gets packaged up in these big gigantic crates that just gets taken apart and slides into the crates and then we fill these big wooden boxes full of all of the props and everything we need for the booth so you can see here we've got some of our favorite old chairs and our favorite suitcases and some of the stuff that really gives the seven gypsies booth its character and those go in those these big giant boxes and those get shipped to the show and part of the process is going through everything that we've got in these crates. So this is some of the stuff that we've got that's left over from some of the other shows. Some of it we keep, some of it we discard and get rid of. Just takes a lot to go through everything and figure out what's what gets saved and what goes. All right, and this is another one of the big crates that the Seven Gypsies booth gets packed into. And uh, if you look here, <laughs> I mean, you can set up camp in there theoretically, but you see it just slides in panels in there and it fits perfectly. So you can see how big it is compared to me, right? All right, so we've got two of our designers in here. We've got Debbie and Paula, and Debbie leads up our booth design for us every single show, and she's been doing it for us for years. She's fabulous. So we're going to talk to her and kind of figure out what it takes for her to get us to CHA. So right now you'll notice that they're just setting all the product on the booth um, the way that we want to have it displayed at the show. And the new stuff that we don't have product in for yet, you can see we just put little place cards there to hold spots for it. Once they finish this, they take shrink wrap and basically wrap each of these sections up really tight and those get loaded into the crate and then they get shipped to CHA and when we get there, we unwrap them, we put the booth together, and all the product is ready to go. We just have to add the new stuff to it. So, hey, guys. Hey. We can take some time, right? You guys are ready yep. for a break? Yep. <laughs> okay, so coming here, we're going to look over um, basically what it takes to get the booth up and going. Because for this show, which is the CHA Summer Show, we actually had to change the configuration of our booth and make it fit into a different booth space than what we had at CHA Winter. So to do that... Debbie basically has to do a lot of math in her head and figure out which one of these sections and how they're going to all fit together to fit in the new space that we have. So this is kind of where you start, this right? This is where I started. And I, Come uh, check it out. I figured out what what the walls were going to look out like and how many walls we were going to have. And once I do that, then I go ahead and figure out what goes in each section. Okay, so right here we're just looking at the booth as it's set up right now. Yes. Okay, so you'll notice here she's got notes on how the measure, how it measures, what the, which one of the sections is going to go there, uh -huh. and then we start plugging in the product. Is yep, that right? That's right. And then after I do that, then I have to decide. We decide which product we're going to show, and we decide exactly what goes into each section. And so this is obviously my working sheet. Whoa. And lots, of, <laughs> lots of notes. Okay, so these are just broken down by the different sections. She plugs in the different products that are going to go in there. You can see that probably changes a few times over. Uh -huh. And then from here, we have to decide what samples, right, are going to go in these sections. Correct. So then I take it to the, uh, the design team, and well, we decide which samples we want and what we're going to show and, and all, of course, the new things. Uh -huh. And then we assign it out to the design team, to the artists, and have them make very specific things that we show on at the show. Okay. Now what's really fun about Debbie, and I, I learned this at a couple of the shows that I've been to with her, is she is so organized and so detail-oriented that when we actually show up 
and get ready to set up the booth at the show. She's taken all of the samples that she's going to be showing and labeled each one of them exactly what section they're going to go in and where they're going to go in that section. So really, it takes us just a couple of hours to get all those samples up because she is so thorough and so organized in getting all of the samples ready for us. And so there's even more of these notes um, that we'll get to look at at some point that are going to show us, again, where all the samples are going in the booth. So let's talk about some of the new stuff that's going on in the booth this time. What are some of the additions? Uh, how did you change up the display? That kind of stuff. I'm noticing this looks we a little just, bit different. We just got a, um, a new, we had this made. Our, um, our friend George here <laughs> at, at the factory made these for us. And what we're going to do is we had some artists had great bindery punches. And we're going to display all of them so everybody can see how fun they, because they did turn out very fun and creative. Right. Okay, so no displays there. This is kind of cool. How'd you come up with this idea? We've used, we've had that in the booth quite a bit since uh, since we started. But yeah, we wanted to have some architecture in the booth, so we cut some pieces in half. And uh, actually, Paula found these um, <laughs> drawers curbside. <laughs> <laughs> About Last year, we, we were looking. We were looking for a new way to have. Wow. Sorry. That's not thunder. It's a working factory. <laughs> so we were looking, looking for a way to have uh, using drawers um, as shelving in the booth. And I was leaving my house one day and drove about four houses down and somebody was moving and there was a dresser out in front of the house and all the drawers were actually out of the dresser and on the side waiting for a pickup. And so I just like brought my car to a halt, jumped out of the car, <laughs> my niece was with me, and she's like, what are you doing? And uh, I opened the trunk, picked up all the drawers really fast and threw them in my trunk, and um, and that became that drawer as well as the ones that are on that wall. Yep, we so altered them. True, true gypsy junk. We're not opposed to using actual junk from the side of the road in no. the dude. But this is... <laughs> We kind of like that. We search for it. We encourage it. But what's really clever is that Debbie and Paula take an idea like this, and then they've got this fabulous, fabulous, what would we call him? Fix all? George. George. Fix all. His George name is George. Man. I wish he was in here so we could give him a big pat on the back. But they yeah. come to him and they say, George, we need drawers in the booth. And this is what George does for them. He never calls them crazy, which I love about yeah. that. But he basically makes that happen for him. So in this case, he took the drawers and he just mounted these brackets on there that are going to fit in the slot wall. So now we have perfect drawers that are going to fit into the slot wall there and they're going to stay in place and they're not going to come crashing down to the ground. Um, oh, and, he built the booth. and George is also the person that built the booth. So um, we couldn't do this without no. George, no. obviously. No. So any last thoughts about the booth, how we put it together? Anything no. like that you want to share? Debbie, how long do you think it takes you to do this every single year? Oh, George! 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 <laughs> <laughs> this is George. This is the, the, the man of the hour that we were just singing all the praises to. This is really the this person that takes, George. takes all the good creative ideas and actually keeps them up and standing. Well, I take their idea. I just do it. <laughs> that is so nice. He's like our easy button. That we just exactly say, George, right. we need it. and push the button and he makes it happen. So thanks, George. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, so last last thoughts here, Debbie. Let's get away from that light. I'm sure oh. it's... How many hours would you say oh, it takes I don't to get to the show? Like 200? An hour? 150? I, at least. At least. At least. So we're looking at about 200 hours yeah. of between Debbie and Paula sure. in planning, getting everything ready, and getting us to the show. So yeah. we can give you guys the best gypsy products possible. So we thank you for taking a few minutes to watch the video and come and visit us and 